to. Do you think it's because we stood next to his leg? Because I was kind of trying to hug one of his legs, you know, near, near his ankle, just on the side. And when we were there, you could see him because he poised, didn't he? He kind of looked back at us. I'm acting this out, of course. And then he did the spin. And if you stand in the right place, you didn't need to block because it wouldn't hit you. It was hitting around you. Which means, if you're good enough, you can two-hand. You can, like, follow with him, see him do that move, wait for that move, and then start your charge. And do some massive damage, and then just kind of do that to him. Where was the crying baby? Where did it go? Was that a delusion? Was that just him? I'm the crying baby. I'm Jim Curry from Labyrinth. Labyrinth? Legend, sorry. I get those confused. Some, some, why are they all dead? Oh. Hey, Anamite. It's nice to see an old friend. At least you still have dreams. At least you still can dream, is it? I forget his... I forget Jura's words. Really really cool piece of dialogue when you get killed by him. Hey, look at this. Is he going to give me a better Estus flask? You have found the better Estus flask. Taunts are not items. God damn it. What the fuck is that trash? Taunt. Little sagely. I don't think that's a mimic, but I'm going to hit it. If you like making love at midnight In the sands of the dune I was listening to, if you like, I don't know the name of that song. But I call it If You Like Pina Coladas because everybody knows wh what it is when you say that. <laughs> but that entire song is actually kind of heartbreaking, sad, but ch also kind of sweet too. About this idea of a couple that have been together since high school, but kind of gone, took each other for granted. And by essentially being, having temptations to, to ruin the fidelity with one another. They end up finding each other again, which I think is is, is kind of cool. That can't be it, right? I just walked in here all... Where's the baby? That's not a tumor. Get him out of here. I hit that. There's nothing here. And if there is, I've missed it. I wonder what that guy was talking about. With that amazing, like, vo vocoder that they put on him. I need one of those. I need to find a way to, to adjust audio, because I love crazy sounding voices. It's awesome. I need to get some software that allows you to do it. Then I can be Casanova from, from uh, what's his name? Kiss the Girls. I can do that. I can do all kinds of strange... Why would you do that moments? But let's go back to Firelink. Interesting, this counts as... Is this... Maybe you were meant to go to him after you killed the dancer. Oh, Firelink. Can you remember when... I had high hopes for you being this hub of entertainment and people and awesomeness and you've essentially become a place, like an old people's home for dementia. Because nobody says anything different. It's just not good. It's just not good. I don't have anything to give to you, do I, lady? Of course I don't. You just want cordial intrusions all over your face. Is he back? I need to find where that thief has gone. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I'm yes. Pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. Look at the dead birds. I bet it stinks in here because of you. What are you playing at? You 
Interesting, look at that fireball. It takes two attunement, but it's got no requirements. That's got really low for the fire surge. Ten. Ooh, do you think that's Chaos Firestorm? It's what it looks like. 10-10. Ten, ten. So if you're going to be doing a build that uses some of these pyromancies, 10-10 ten, ten seems to be the split. That's a shame. I reckon that the, the PvP meta on this game will probably bitch out and go higher to accommodate for all the people wanting to haul stuff like pyromancies. I hope it doesn't. I don't think I will. I'd love to see that, but I don't have to attunement, I don't think. No, I've got I've only got one book. If that's what attunement is. Is that to attunement or is that just I don't know. There's FP and then next to it there's there's the picture of the Japanese and then the two, and I'm assuming that that's attunement. Which it might not be. How do we do this? Oh, not like that. That takes a picture. Oh, you see, what was that? Was that me fighting him? What the fuck was that? It saved a video of me fighting that dude. Oh, no, it's just he's showing me what I'm doing. What's he doing that for? Ugh. Ugly. Ugly. Algorithm. Do not be gone. Jolly good. Back again. Back again, eh? Oh, fat. this is a crystal sorcery. Oh. Created by the pale dragon. Yeah. Only to exist in legend. Seath. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only. I if I suck your dick. I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. Uh, what? That even sounded worse than my gag. Let me just unravel it for you. Oh, let me get to your delicious genitalia. Probably would. Yeah. You, at this point, you're probably really late, really lonely. Then again, you've got this sexy witch down here who we can't even see her face, but I like her boots. She's got good tasting boots. Ah, hello again. Thank goodness. Do you want to touch the darkness inside me? Can I slip yes. my darkness inside you? <laughs> she doesn't want that, does she? She's gonna get offended again. Oh, you. How could you? Oh, I know. I know. Fine then. But just this once. Oh? Huh? I will tell you this tale. I thought she was gonna give us some anal. <laughs> but do understand, it will be my first time. What? This is should I What is going on? I wanna hear this. Tell me more about this sexy tale. Watch her have a dick. She's chicks with dicks, isn't she? There is one thing that you should know. Oh no, this is not a tale. I wanna hear a damn tale. Ah, oh, I think we just got a new thing. Whatever that is. Them requirements are pretty damn steep. As they should be. No, as they should be. Stay safe. After the neglect. And blue balls to you, lady. I can't. Where did the crestfallen warrior go? <laughs> I thought everything was pointless and entropic, and he's just like, nah, I'm gone. See ya. Maybe somebody killed him. It is. So, happened upon any... But then you'd see his body, wouldn't you? That, that's not right. Ooh, look at that. 50. Oh, dog. Oh, dear. We just killed Wannabe Seath. Because that's his crystal magic spell. And that's the Moonlight Greatsword. So whoever that was. We've got to bite that, haven't we? There's no way we can't. 10k is not cheap, though. Why is it so dear? Bitch. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say? Lord Slayer. Mwah, 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 mwah. Is it just carbon pasted from Bloodborne? No, it's not. 
Which is nice of them. It'd be nice if it glowed when it when you swung it. So the move set seems pretty standard. Charge R2. It's interesting how the player swings on stuff like this are not that fast, really. Yeah, if the AI had this sword, they'd be swinging it twice as quick. You just know they would. It's got good R2s. Really good R2s. Good running attack. Rolling attack could be better. Rolling R2 is not a bad one. It's a good mix-up. And then, of course, the stance... What? So I assume if you meet the requirements, he just does that, but that's shitty. You've only got one... Yeah, there's only one fire laser sword, it seems. Or maybe all the attacks fire lasers, I don't know. Hopefully. Seems a bit underwhelming. It's kind of the moral of the story so far. Ooh, the axes I got from those bastards. These might be worth looking at. Look at this. Ridiculous axes. Oh, I love the swing as well. The swing is so mean. It's fast as well, you notice that? It's a really fast swing, all considered. Slam. I need to take these sugar puff leggings off that seem to be inter interfering with our fun. I had those on, didn't I? They seem to be okay. And then you get two of them. And then the L1. Oof. Oof. So you can, like, whiff, whiff, slam. You can start doing straight up wicked weave combos and then end as they get close. Because if somebody sees you swinging the wrong way, first thing they're going to do, hopefully, is, is running attack you or something like that. So if you understand poise, you can maybe tank it, hit them with that big one, and then follow up with another L1. Or if you think they're going to jump away, you just jump after them. And then you catch the roll. I wonder if the R2, L2 is the spin. It is. Interesting. That looks dangerous. Oh my god. What a terrifying weapon. I'm really looking forward to using that. It's a quality weapon. It's got steepish requirements. But it could be really good. Okay, lady, let's level up. Welcome, sir. Very well. Then take nourish. <clears throat> take nourish. I will. So we've got 36. 30. We can get two more levels. We're going to have to go with strength because we need some power. This game's gonna start getting really, really tricky. Without power. What was that? I'm not whatever that is. I don't know. Maybe. Little Lord Ludlow. The little Lord. How diminutive, I love it. Fuck that guy, he's a douche. Powerful demon souls. How many does that give? 20,000. Not a joke. Five thousand. We might be able to get another level here. Get some more strength. I think we can. That worked out well. I can get more souls than that from two kills of those creatures. Oh, I'm just under. That's how ridiculous they are. And you can chain... Well, you can't really chain them. You can, but you can't. It's weird. You'll see. Because that's where we're going next. We need to explore the archive. But I want to show you those guys just so you've got an idea of what I'm talking about. 
Ashen One. Yeah. Looks very well taken. Take Pignori Shano. Close to 40 decks. Well, we technically, with this ring, we're over 40 decks now. So we're 42 decks, and our weapon is, is 414. Hopefully that proves to be useful. I also got the achievement for the ultimate Estus Flask by giving it... What's that? Oh, I cannot burn any. Right. So, we're going to reverse engineer this. We've also got that triple gank squad. We've got those gargoyles. We've got some of those upper levels we didn't explore. There's also some rafters that I've found, uh, which I'm really excited to check out. So we're going to look at those first. Look how shit that castle looks in the low res, or the low poly model at the distance. This is a beautiful game in a lot of respects, but it also looks really rough at times. There are areas of it that, I think because of the scope and the scale, can look up, come up as a little neglected. But do you see him up there? Can you remember at the beginning of Lothric, how there was that fat dude who had those little wings? Well, these are the full winged creatures. It's a triple fight as well, all three of them drop. The first guy we're gonna fight, you'll notice, is using uh, the weapon that I was experimenting with in the Nexus. I want 69 if I can. Close to 69 as I can get as possible. 59. I can't. So I should probably do gloves, but I kind of like my gloves, so fuck them. So that spawns them. This roof is curved, which means you can get dead angled, you can miss backstabs. It's generally a miserable time, but this guy is really predictable when you get the good pattern. If he does this, and it hits, he'll do a second hit. If it misses, he won't, and then you backstab him. You get distance to try and provoke it again, and he didn't do it. So now it gets kind of awkward. This is a multi-hitting flying bullshit move, and I don't like it. His AI has been all weird now. He's, he just wants to do that. You can backstab it. But sometimes it's it's more hassle than it's worth. He also has a really big ender on it too, where he does two-handed if he wants to. That's the walk that we need to stop. And this is how I fight him. There's his roll attack. See how it missed? He didn't follow it up. And this is all you do, guys. And then the other ones are worse because they're less predictable. And then before you kill him, you want to use a coin to try and get maximize on your, your drop. And he drops those. He drops chunks. He also drops his weapon. And look at his souls. He gave us, what, 13,000 just then? It's absolutely insane. But he will kill me in one hit because he's a dick. And he does some seriously sick moves. Like, he can do a flying attack that leads into the spin attack. It's, it's preposterous. It's fucking cheating is what it is. You're going to do it here. Yeah. There it was. It's a nightmare. This one gets stuck though, so you can cheese him with arrows if that's your deal. Not having a good success with this. But the cheesier you play, the safer you'll be. The easier this will be. Uh, you cannot poison these monsters though, so it doesn't seem to be all that valid of a strategy. In my book anyway. This is why I upgraded my bow for moments like this, because this is where it really shines. And then we'll do some Dan Maku. And now he's going to kill it. Oh no, he's not. He's going to stand there so we can do this. Can we do this? Oh my god, that was great. 1000 damage. And then I'm going to come up here and fight this guy, and he's going to kill me, because for some reason I can never kill this third one. It always kills me. So instead, oh that missed, I'm going to lead him down here 
And we'll fight him on this. And he's probably going to do the big fly move. Oh, he didn't. He can't lock on him through the banister either, so don't even try. So, do you know if you're rushing to try and punish that and it's and it's the wrong one, you get fucked. Like, there's no punishing that. And it messes with your lock on, which is worse. I did not know he could do that. I don't know where he is. Oh, is he dead? Hey, that's a good strat. <laughs> Lead him out there and get him to kill himself. He jumped over the barrier. What a beast. So I didn't explore any of this outer area. I looked around the, the rim to see what there was, but then I wanted to stop because I didn't want to push too far forward because you've not seen this and it's not fair. I just, I noticed that these were uh, three flying creatures and then I killed one and boom, I, I was in the right area. But I think I've got everything that might have been there, so I want to go up here, see what's finally up this. Is there anything good? More monsters? Hey, there's a ladder. Any fake walls? What? 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 What is this? Seems kind of pointless. I don't know where the room would lead, considering that that is hollow, but you know. <laughs> you got to try it. Interesting. So, you know how I got two of the same rings yesterday? I didn't. You have a ring that boosts your attack. You have a ring that boosts your... Where's the, the screen? There you go. Look. Ring that boosts attacks. Ring that boosts defenses. Only that doesn't look like it's boosting my defenses for some reason. Let's take it off. See if I can show you. See. Attack goes up. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? I thought it put my... Why? Why does it say my attack... Ah, I'm confused. Why is my attack in red? I'm reading that right, right? It says over there, my attack is 368, as if it's going down by putting on a fucking bleeding poison ring. What's that about? I don't have a ring equipped, so it can't be calculating it based off the stats of another ring. So why is it saying that? But you see, that one puts your defense up. That one should put your attack up, but it just looks like it does the same thing, doesn't it? And, it? and I'm almost certain it doesn't. Maybe once you put it on, you can never take it off. I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused now. I don't know what's happening. But if you look at my stats, I'm 414 attack. 119 pretty much as a base level. When we take it off, we lose points. So it's doing something. That one doesn't do as much. It does something, though. And then that one... Once again, doesn't do as much. But that was a terrible way of showing it, but it's very confusing. Like every ring I put on apparently kills my weapon. Some For some weird reason. Hopefully I'm, I'm just really tired, guys, and I'm making an obvious mistake. Moving in slow motion feels so good. I was hoping for an item. The cock block is real. Keep on knocking on wood. So, let's pick that item up that I found yesterday and didn't pick up, because I'm kind to the viewer. So this is a birdcage above the Duke's place. It's pretty cool. There's also a cheesy bastard shooting spells at you, which is kind of 
kind of less cool. It says sorcery. Okay. But now I know that he does that, I could try and hit him first. So, do you see him? There he is. They don't like fire. I can imagine why they wouldn't like fire. I don't like fire either. I mean, I love fire, but I don't like it on me. You know. I love a lot of things, but I don't like them on me. Do you see any more cheesy buggers? Camera collision for the win. That's a resource that those three knights can drop as well. Those gold fellas, they drop those, whatever those are. What do you think? Do we drop onto that next stratum? The next strut? I want to be careful here because I don't want to get stuck. But it's always the same. We are playing volleyball in our pants. Because we're men. Well, this is cool. Can you imagine if... You're a host and you come here and you stand on some eclectic corner and you end up laying down <laughs> in a taunt wearing really good camouflage armor. Nobody will find you. I lost my waxen head as well. Do you think you can do this? No, you can't. Would have been sweet. Interesting. He doesn't have enough range to hit me. That's a sad face for him. This one's not going to reach, but Hail Mary. Oh, we got him. See ya. I hope that's a way. Ooh, maybe we can cut the chandeliers. Did I try to shoot them? Ah, oh, maybe not. Is that somebody with red eyes? There's a ladder. Look at that guy. I don't remember that guy. It's probably going to get super pissed when I... Uh... You could plunge attack him if you got creative. Plenty of ways to drop. So I'm hoping that this would lead to something a little more interesting, if I'm honest. And I try always to be honest, even at a... The risk of my own benefit. So why would you want to do this again? Books. More curse books, maybe? Those are proper chests. Any curse books? There are no curse books. Wow. Curse books here because the chests? Really? Cursed chest? <laughs> Divine blessing, really? Divine Blessings are shit in this game. They're like mushrooms, only mushrooms were good. Okay. This is the... I remember this room. The room of curse books. And this is where the gargoyles were. Who we should probably fight and take our time with. Only they are killers. Absolute killers. Which puts me off it a little bit. Doesn't he drop here? Oh, there's one there. 
I think one dropped over here. Yes. Him. What if this one could shield with his wing? He's having trouble. He can. He can. <laughs> Doing damage through my guard because of the fire. But we already knew that. Just can't get hit by it when he swings it. That I'm not too bothered about. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I should probably be dead. Stop it. Barry. So I think of you. But it's always the same. Wow, that goes some distance. <laughs> Did that do so little damage he just doesn't care? Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs>